family, friends, and strangers. Welcome into another edition of the Whiskey Wasteland. As always, I'm your host, Adam. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being a follower. Thank you for being a fan. Thank you for being patient. I know I've said many times that this channel would be a little better. Um, I've got a one-year-old daughter. What can I say? If anyone else out there that's watching has a family or a daughter, you know what I'm talking about. It's quite a handful. Uh, if you have more than one, I praise you 100%. Um, so anyway, I've got a bottom shelf value bourbon that I'd like to try today. Never tried it. I walked out the door of a local liquor store, a chain local liquor store. Uh, it was $9 for a 750 milliliter. I believe this is what this is. Yeah. Sure, we'll go with that. No, this is a, eh, yeah, it's 750. Anyway, whatever, not important, sort of. Um, <clears throat> again, let's stop rambling. Opening, Adam, Whiskey Wasteland. Thank you for tuning in to my followers that have followed since day one. You know the deal. I've been hiatus, I've been reviewing. I've been on hiatus, I've been reviewing. I'm sorry, I, I wish I could be more consistent, but unfortunately, I can't right now. I wish I could, so I can, I can only do what I can do. Uh, I'm trying to get some more reviews out, of course, but <clears throat> when money's tight, I'd rather spend my money on other things than bourbon and get a review. So with that being said, um, these are still available. If anyone wants one, I can customize it any way you want. This one has a um, snap with the trucker style. I can do like a golf hat. Uh, I can do just about anything with any, basically any color lettering and font. Just um, email me at ilovewhiskey502 at yahoo.com or comment down below. You can find me on Facebook, The Whiskey Wasteland, Instagram, the underscore whiskey underscore wasteland. I'm available just about anywhere. <clears throat> Let me know. The prices on the hats do vary. Uh, I don't think any of them cost more than $30. And that's with the fitted... Um, Thing like special edition just let's talk if you want a hat if you want to support the brand 100% of of purchases go towards the channel goes towards this it does not just go in my pocket for fun so please know that um, there have been a little bit of some shipping issues and I'm figuring that out we may have to go with another they're just Distribute dis distributor. Another distributor. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. We've got a bottle of JTS bourbon. Now, I tried to do a little bit of research before I got on here and only thing I could really find out about this is that um, there was a movie called The Hustler that this bourbon was featured in. I don't know who these three people are. I, I may, sh probably should have done a little bit more research being that this is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Um, I do know that it is JTS Brown Sun Company in Bardstown, Kentucky, which is actually a Heaven Hill brand. And um, phew, they've been, this was established in 1855, so uh, it is distilled and bottled in Kentucky, which is Heaven Hill all through and through. Um, <clears throat> so this is the original. I almost went with the bottled and bond, which I heard is pretty damn good. Um, at least three to four times better than the original, but I figured, hey, nine bucks out the door, can't beat that. The other one was $14.99, I believe. That's before tax, so I was I just needed something to review. I just felt like reviewing, so 
there's a little bit of a uh, description on the back. I haven't even read that actually, so it might tell you who these three people are on the front here. It says, um, JTS Brown has distilled Kentucky's finest bourbon for more than 100 years under a traditional time-honored method handed down by three generations. It is noted for its lighter, milder, smoothness, and delicate aroma. Fully matured for 36 months, no better bourbon can be produced. 36 months. That's three years. I thought of... Mm, didn't a bourbon have to be more than four years? Guys, if, you, uh, if you're out there and you know anything, uh, I, I thought a bourbon had to be aged at least four years to be a bourbon, but um, this here says fully matured for 36 months. So maybe I'm wrong, but um, yeah, distilled and aged in Kentucky bottled by JTS Brown's company, Bardstown, Kentucky, which heaven hill. Okay, uh, so we don't discriminate. You see this is a twist off cap, which um, Weller is a twist off cap too before any screw top haters happen. Um, I think there's only a few Weller out there that may have a cork. I think one of the um, Weller Antique does have a cork, but whatever, we're not reviewing that right now. So it is plastic. Um, let's get into it. Uh, while I'm pouring, the proof on this is 80, uh, <clears throat> which I was just looking for, a, for, you know, some sort of a little sipper. I feel like if I go too high proof sometimes anymore in my old age, um, it just kind of messes with me. So I'm kind of trying to lower my proofing a little bit to see if I can get any really good under 100 proof bourbons. I know they're out there. Um, Buffalo Trace is 94 proof usually. Then, um, gosh, you've got, uh, I mean, there's, there's all kinds. But anyway, I'm just looking to expand my palette. My, again, typically if you've, and this is beside the, well, not beside the point, but anyway, so I'm going to start rambling again. Typically, what we like to do on the channel, and I should have done this in the opening, I'm sorry. I know you all want to get to the review. Uh, so typically what we do is we like to find a bottle like this. It doesn't have to necessarily be a, a you know, a budget bourbon or anything, $9, but uh, something that I have not tried. And then basically I try it for the first time on my review and then I just think it's more real people go and they 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 go to these festivals they try these bourbons and they buy them and hey what do you think kind of thing and it's just it doesn't feel real to me like I want to be as real as possible with you all because you all are why I still do this if, if I didn't have any followers I wouldn't be doing this It'd be a waste of my time so I like to be as real as possible for these reviews, so that is what we do. Um, we also, before we obviously take a sip of our wonderful bourbon, we like to look at the color, nose, and then sip. And then after that, we do score. And disclaimer, I am not a professional whiskey reviewer. I do this strictly for a hobby. I do not get paid by anybody, nor am I sponsored by any distillery. So let's look at the color on this. I'm, I'm just looking at it here briefly. It is very light and um, it's a light amber. No stick to the glass. Maybe some, yeah, no, no stick. A little bit, not much. If you can see that, I can't really see it. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, sip or nose. Ooh, oh God. Lots of, wow, lot, ooh, that's a good nose. Lots of cinnamon and vanilla up front. Nuttiness on the back. Ooh, wow, that's a heck of a nose for an 80 proof bourbon, wow. 
you don't get the aroma of alcohol at all in this. At least I don't. Wow. A little apple. Like a cinnamon apple, almost like a um like a cinnamon stick with, with a little apple, like cooked apples. Oh man, that'd be a if it tastes this good, this would be a heck of a campfire bourbon. All right, let's cleanse palate, and then we will. Take us a sip. So it's definitely an 80 proof. It's got a little tongue burn on it. But it's smooth. It's an 80 proof, so it's smooth. <clears throat> it does have a, it says it's a lighter, milder flavor, smoothness, and delicate aroma. Now, I will say the aroma for me, which is the nose, was very complex. It had the apples, it had the cinnamon, it had the vanilla um coming through on the palate it's not real strong um nor is it real complex it's there and it's gone the finish is short probably one of the shortest finishes of a bourbon i've ever had but i will say for nine dollars if you're just looking to bring something to somebody's house maybe for even a mixer I don't see where you could go wrong. I really, really don't. If you've ever had Heaven Hill, it does have the characteristics of Heaven Hill other than the charcoal filter. So if you've had, for instance, the six year or the um, the six year green label, or if, you've, if you had the opportunity to have the bottled and bond white label, which is now way overpriced and, and another age year older, and it's like $50. Anyway, that was one of the best bourbons for the value. Um, <clears throat> it's like that, but without the charcoaly filtery taste if you get what i'm saying um it has the characteristics of heaven hill i like it it's not complex so don't go in thinking you're gonna buy a nine dollar nine dollar bottle of bourbon and it'd be complex you're just not i don't think you're gonna get it is it drinkable without mixing yeah. All the characteristics of Heaven Hill. It's got a little bit of the vanilla back tone, but it's not like the finish is so short that once you take it, it's gone. And it's really hard to pick out flavors in this. Okay, so a little apple I got that time. Yeah, apples, vanilla, Yeah, once you get kind of down in there, you can get that <clears throat> alcohol smell. The nose is better than the than than the taste. I will say that, but 
like I said before, don't go in spending $9 thinking you're going to get a Pappy flavor or uh, even a Weller profile, anything like that. Most of the Heaven Hill products, I shouldn't say that. A lot of the Heaven Hill products are on the less expensive side, but they're still great values. Um, the green, the green label, the six-year-old green label is still out there and it is a heck of a heck of a bargain. That is, that is one of the top bar bargain bourbons that I like. Um, <clears throat> this one would make a really, really good mixer. Can't, could you drink it straight? Of course. Anybody could drink anything neat or straight. It depends on your palate. Would I personally on a daily basis have this as my daily drinker? On a tight, tight budget. I would love to try the bottled in bond, which is a hundred proof. So it's a hundred or it's 20 proof higher than this, which would probably be the sweet spot for this. But at 80 proof, it's just light. It's missing. It's missing. It's boldness um, and of course I said before I'm used to the 100 proofs uh, or higher so an 80 proof just it may be me it may be I just can't pick it out because it's just so light I'm really trying to pick out some some notes for you guys nuttiness it's got a little nuttiness. So, I think as you sip it more, it kind of becomes a little bit more of that non-charcoal filter nuttiness that the Heaven Hill brand typically brings that I'm used to with the charcoal filter. But, it's light. It's so light, which... isn't a bad thing necessarily, but I like, I really like to taste the bourbon out of the barrel. And this is just, underwhelming for the nose. I like it. I could drink it as a, as a very, budget bourbon sipper. I would mix this before drinking it straight unless I was at a little campfire or something. I just needed to put something in a in a little um, you know cup or something. So we're gonna do a rating and I don't want to be too harsh. I'm gonna give it an 82 which I think is a, a pretty decent score for for the price and for the nose itself, I think it's worth an 82. The, the, the taste, the notes, it's just not there for me. I did read a little bit that people got cinnamon, a little nutmeg. I'm just not getting, I just, I'm getting nuttiness and a little bit of cinnamon maybe. And that's about it. And then it just dies in your mouth. Like here, once it's here, you can't taste it much. I mean, you have the bourbon aftertaste, which is solid. I'll, you know, that's great. Anyway, let's stop rambling. We gave JTS Brown, just the original JTS Brown, an 82 out of 100. On a mixer level, it would probably be... I'd give it a good 7 out of 10. Buy a big handle of this and make some eggnog with it. Um, I think it would have great characteristics of eggnog because it's already nutty. So um, typically when I make eggnog for the holidays, I use uh, Buffalo Trace, which actually my wife makes our eggnog. So 
she likes to use Buffalo Trace, um, which we do have around here all the time. But anyway, um, yeah, give it a, give it a try. It's worth a try at least. It is definitely worth a try. So again, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you, um, for just rocking it out with me and being patient and, um, again, these hats are still for sale. If you want one, you know where to go. You can link me here. I will reach out to you. You can email me, I love whiskey 502 at yahoo.com or simply find me on Facebook at the Whiskey Wasteland. If you follow me here, you should be following me there. I don't know if you don't have Facebook, great. If you do, um, why are you not following me on Facebook? simple questions. Anyway, um, let me pour a, another little shot here and <clears throat> we will do until the next time I see you guys. Hopefully it is before Thanksgiving. So again, guys, just want to shout you all out. Uh, thanks for being so patient and not, you know, being jerks and unfollowing me because I'm not consistent and all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys so much. Cheers from the wasteland.